For every loved Mr. Beast crew member, there is another who is hated by everyone. And we are going to begin with Chandler, who on the 25th of June would post his way into the heart of the audience. This post was of him sharing his Bible verse of the day. And despite the overwhelmingly positive response from the audience throughout this series, Chandler has actually been a fan favourite since he first joined the team, initially making his first appearance as the company's janitor, featuring in the We Are Better Than Do Perfect video. Although, thanks to the comments mainly focusing on his first appearance, he was brought in again, this time as a regular feature. We are gonna rob this house. Here's a rock. Chandler, smash that window! <laughs> The more Chandler would appear in videos, the more fans grew to love his personality, charm, and even weird quirks. Chandler, I know you hate pickles. I'm gonna put it right there. Take your hatred out. He's pulling on his crackhead string. Oh! Ooh, go up! Okay. Oh. oh, wow! Since people enjoyed seeing someone that seemed themselves, which in turn means he doesn't have to put on a persona when the cameras film one of his challenge losses. And there's a lot. Oh, okay. When Chandler drops out of the challenges, you're in the end game now. Uh, it can do tricks. Oh. <laughs> No, no. When you look into the fan base of Mr. Beast, the love for Chandler is actually far from hidden. In a subreddit poll questioning the favourite crew members, Chandler would rank first place, clearing over double the points of ooh, but we'll get to them later. Then if we look at Mr. Beast seven days stranded in a cave, any comments relating to the video itself are mainly directed at Chandler, reading, we want Chandler back, and does anyone else miss Chandler? Which is actually referencing his disappearance that occurred since the pretty hefty drama surrounding Beast. You see, in a time of darkness and controversy for the channel, Chandler has been placed as a light that seems to be missing. But a crew member that won't be missed from the channel is none other than Jake the Viking, who let his own pride and arrogance get in the way of a friendship he had secured for life. Jake the Viking first joined the boys in 2018 with the video, Do Water Repellent Shoes Really Work? I don't think the Everdrive is working on the side of the van. Here, let me try. It was then from here, after the audience took to Jake's newfound place within the crew, he would earn his official name, Jake the Viking. This was thanks to his incredibly large build and using his obvious size compared to the other boys to help out where nobody else could. I want to dump this cinder block in this water, but it's really heavy. You uh, rang? Yeah, that was my Viking call. Hey, can you dip this in the water tank for me? It's like, it's really heavy, but you're like a big boy. Although, as the common trope goes, all good things must come to an end, but nobody expected the Jake and Jimmy relationship to be severed in such a drastic way, in which actually started with a seemingly innocent video posted by Jake. Why I left Mr. Beast. This announcement was posted in 2020, and unsurprisingly for the time was met with incredibly positive reactions from Beast fans. The fact that he is not coming at Jimmy and exposing him like others would is very respectable. He will be missed from the Mr. Beast channel. He gave a proper reason. He respected Mr. Beast and didn't give unnecessary hate towards him. And these comments stem from the fact Jake would state there was no argument, and he and the boys are still friends to this day. So it's like, it's, there's no hard feelings anywhere. And the fact that I was able to be a part of one of the best YouTube channels in the, in the world, you know, and learn from one of the best and be a part of the best, you know, and kind of put that on my resume. Although this clip gives us a window into a prettier time that isn't exactly the reality we live in now, with Jake falling into the depths of hatred and joining the most hated crew members. This would start with somebody questioning why Jake is so anti-Chris Tyson's latest makeover, saying this about one of your old friends is horrendous, especially when Jimmy himself has condemned people who hate on her. To which Jake would reply, friends leave friends on red when they get fired, which is actually the first time Jake would admit he was in fact fired and did not quit the channel. This would be backed up after Jake would appear on the Raw Room, claiming he was actually fired for accepting a CBD company sponsorship. I walk in, this is now This is now April, so it's been four months since yeah. I've, I've been asked to be in a video, and they straight up hit me with the, it's one of those, your piece doesn't fit the puzzle, and it's brand protection because you did a brand deal with a CBD company. Yet, this is just the tip of the Jake iceberg, which is exposed even more after Chris Tyson would tweet, never ask Jake how he protected his kid or his family from his brother-in-law. Below was an attached image of documents showing Jake's brother-in-law committing some intense crimes. In fact, this brother actually appears in a beast video. So all of this called for a response from Jake, which on the 8th of August, he finally gave. Delaware is my brother-in-law. When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others of SA, 
sleep when she was 11, Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there's no jail time, but he still had to register. He was hired before I was, and was actually the reason I got hired at Mr. Beast. Before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mum, and explained to them everything. So yes, Jimmy knew. But again, this incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017-18. Delaware was also let go from the company before I was. And the comments to this post truly proved the fate for Jake had been sealed. So your brother had been a confirmed offender for over a decade now, and you just decided to speak on it? The silence is really deafening. Jake Franklin knew. Ugh, your whole credibility is now tarnished. Should have stayed away from the conversation if you had those kind of skeletons in your closet. But one person who doesn't have any skeletons, and was instantly loved by the Mr. Beast audience, is none other than Nolan, who despite often being the butt of the jokes, always remains a good sport, and knows how to add a laugh into a video. Nolan Handsome first appeared on the Beast channel way back in 2015, during with Chris and Jimmy to celebrate the channel hitting 6,000 subscribers, although thanks to Nolan running his own YouTube channel known as Trendcrave, it wasn't until Jimmy had spent $1 million on lottery tickets that Nolan would make his next appearance. Then from here, he would slowly start appearing in more videos and losing more money, with the total loss clearing over $1 million. This number was actually sourced from the Mr. Beast wiki, where the page gives insights into Nolan behind the camera, but the audience can also comment on Nolan on the camera. Nolan is my favourite. Honestly, Nolan is the best crew member. He always brings energy and really makes me happy every time I see him. You see, Nolan is the favourite within the Mr. Beast audience, which consists mostly of children who enjoy his personality type, but when you take a look outside of this bubble, the love for Nolan isn't exactly there. But despite this and being the most recently added member, Nolan has managed to build his own fan base, one that enjoys Nolan for, well, Nolan. But another crew member who unfortunately didn't manage to have the same fate is none other than Ava Chris Tyson, who after severe allegations and countless crimes was fired from the YouTube channel and forced to quit the internet forever. Ava Chris Tyson, formerly known as just Chris, was a common feature in the Mr. Beast crew, first appearing in 2017's The Anti-Beast. For too long, we've put up with Mr. Beast 6000's crap. Abusing this poor laptop. Not using this green screen. Pink blankets. The comments to this video gives a preview into the downfall of Chris and how within just a few years, you can go from the most loved to a hated forgotten memory. The foreshadowing is crazy. Man, sucks to see him as he is today. This comment in particular is referencing when the true hatred for Chris would start, after YouTuber SunnyV2 would post to his channel claiming Chris's transition would lead to problems for Mr. Beast, and there is clearly something wrong with the crew about this change due to moments caught on live stream. Oh my god, is this, um, is this money? This I better be money. money for it's my better birthday. be money. If you guys are gonna send me, he wants art. Oh. Send me money. Oh my god, this is like a file, I hope- Although at this time, Mr. Beast would respond to the Chris issue, claiming, Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare, he's my fucking friend, and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Yet, despite this optimism from Jimmy, the audience in the comment section was more focused on something else. Something much darker. But before we get here, let's look at the old tweets and videos of Chris that were resurfacing to bury his career in the limelight. From, nothing gets my knob cranking like some lolly, to live stream clips of Chris dropping the hard R. What? But just when people were thinking things couldn't get any worse, Chris was about to officially become the most hated crew member of all time. The first major crack between Chris and Mr. Beast's younger audience came after just one of his multiple victims would come forward with messages from when she was 14 and Chris was 22. Throughout these messages, Chris not only asks about another schoolmate, proving he knew the person was 14, but he also refers to somebody as dad multiple times, sends kissing emojis, love hearts, and these messages are even backed up with video proof to confirm the account's existence belonging to Chris himself. This exact same expose on Twitter would also share a video of Chris speaking with at least one minor on a Discord call, saying some pretty vulgar things. I know, dude, I would c inside of that egg and then watch her eat it, and then watch her have sex with another man while she comments about how my genitalia can never satisfy her. 
but if this wasn't enough to already put Chris on the most hated throne. After private conversations between 13 year old Mr. Beast fan and Chris would leak, the internet was about to explode over Chris. In fact, this fan had even been featured in Mr. Beast gaming videos. From Lava, I get weird snaps from Chris. Attached to this was an image of Chris c for America, and even Chris stating one more Patreon and I will be sharing nudes. To which Lava would reply, I'm your first Patreon, big boy, with Chris replying, but not five dollars, lol, joking with a kissing emoji. This conversation would end with Chris saying he just posted nudes for the boy. Yet despite these allegations and pretty serious crimes we've gone through, there is so much more evidence and even more crimes, and really anything bad you can think of, Chris probably did it. Ultimately though, this left the situation up for his sister to make a comment solidifying the now permanent hatred for Chris. I'm his sibling, he, and yes I use the correct pronoun, told me that he got fully aroused when he secretly stole my female clothes and put them on. He's deluded and disturbed and it's 100% a fetish. He's narcissistic and professionals have told me he needs a full psych level. In a whirlwind of a career where one moment you could be the fan favourite to the next being a bad memory of what once was, Chris left himself surviving off of one quote, I was cool at some point.